Game is the Elder Scrolls Online. Review by <laughs> Review after 550 hours. This game is still amazing. Review after 170 hours. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. ESO is a huge game so not all the pros can be covered in this review but here is my experience. Played this game back in 2014 on the Xbox and I can tell you the devs have did a complete 360 on this game. Pros First let me start off this review by saying this ESO has one of the best MO communities out there. Players are very friendly and quick to help you out when you talk in zone chat. I have played a lot of MOs and none of them come close to ESO's community. ESO has good graphics for a game that came out in 2014 and the gameplay is spot on. If you're worried about jumping in this game and you're worried about being stuck in the beginner zones no worries. In ESO zones aren't level locked. Because of this the monsters will always scale to your level so you're free to explore the open world. Other than some annoying bugs, this is the only MO I have played that didn't have anything game breaking that turned me off. Coming from BDO that means a lot. Endless amount of content including, quests, dungeons, PvP, trails, exploration, and etc. Cons. Dungeons can be very broken or buggy. Often, I find myself glitched in a rock or some sort of post since a boss threw me like a rag doll. I have experienced a dungeon boss so glitched he didn't spawn and we had to redo the whole dungeon. Quest can sometimes glitch. Sometimes the person you turn in a quest to is either not there or you can't interact with them. This has only happened to me twice though. PvP can be so buggy at times it's unplayable. This problem happens sometimes where you are in PvP then you get hit with a 1 second loading screen. 1 second isn't a long time of course but in PvP your character will stop moving for a split second and then you get wrecked by other players. When this happens, your best option is to not play PvP for a while because the loading screen is persistent. My thoughts on the Crown Store aka the Microtransaction Store. Now I understand most have to make money since they're always adding content and working on the game as a whole. Employees need to get paid and profit needs to be made. I have no problem with the in-game store and it's not pay to win. Mostly everything is cosmetic and you can buy some digital houses from there but you can also get houses with in-game gold, it's just a grind. Another great thing is if you don't have money for things in the crown store you can always buy it off a player with in-game gold. One thing I will say, they do make the crown store tempting but it's a business at the end of the day. Hope you enjoyed the review. I don't usually review games but I had to for this gem. Heart.